having difficulties at times or often so to get started when practicing the piano because you feel all cold or stiff in the hands, then this video is for you because I will share with you three methods of warming up your fingers to ensure a good and pleasant practice session. Fingers that are warmed up will take in information better, they will program better and you will learn faster. And the second reason is when you are warmed up your piano sound will become better. And the third reason is that when you are warmed up the chance for injury is reduced. I share with you three ways that add up. Depending on the shape you are in, you might need all three of them. They add up, they don't replace each other. So the first way might be sufficient. Maybe you need to add step number two or and step number three. So make sure you watch all the steps. And then the end of the video, I will also share with you the five exercises I use frequently and they will help you warm up quickly. I will show you those finger exercises and explain you why they're so effective. So the first way is just, uh, is just simply finger exercises. What I do is, is to, to play in the fast phase, so first the hands separate so that I can focus on the muscle group that I want to, to warm up, the muscles here. Here are the muscles located of your fingers. exercises. If you're really uh, cold and you, or you didn't play for a while then probably you will start to feel tiredness here in the muscles like you're doing a fitness exercise. You also feel the moment that you have to stop and let your muscles relax for a minute and that's the same with the fingers because it's just also muscles there. So method number one, finger exercises. Then, if finger exercises are not enough, and often that's so when you didn't play for a while, for several days, or after a holiday, or you walk the day in the garden, that's really, you will feel that in your muscles. And when you try to work in the garden, or carrying some things, or doing some handwork with screwdrivers and so on, and then you're going to uh, play the piano, you will really feel that. So again, finger exercises, but we add to that some stretchings. Bend here your hand down and you feel here stretch. You can do this a little bit, push very gently and then you stretch the arm. And now you feel here a stretch in the lower arm. Keep it a little bit and then you do the opposite, you do like this. And if it's good, you feel here stretch. And that's very good. It helps, it enhances the warming up because a good blood, blood circulation in your muscles will increase your suppleness. And another nice, by the way, a nice stretching exercise is also like you're squeezing the water out of the towel. Slowly feel it. You feel it here. And like this. The fists, like you are squeezing the towel. This is, by the way, also stretching exercise they do with a tennis elbow. When you have a tennis elbow, then when you do this, it's a very good exercise for that. You still feel cold. For example, you're living in the in a very wintry environment. Then you can do, and that's something that Glenn Gold used to do, and that's put your arms in a hot water tub. Make sure that the lower arms are all in and you can nicely relax. You can take a chair or something and nicely relax for five minutes or 15 minutes, whatever you like, what feels comfortable. And you can help to speed up a little bit the warming up, a little massage of the lower arm muscles because that's the motor of the fingers, that's here. So 
And then, as Joseph Hoffman um, suggests in his book, you take a tub of hot water and you do a, some stretchings here from the skin in the hot water. Make sure there's only the skin that you stretch and not that you feel it in the joints when you stretch because that can be painful and it's not going to help you. Especially this, this is very safe to stretch like that. And you feel here the skin between the fingers stretch. Like this, that's a little bit dangerous. I would rather not pulling uh, this kind of stretching, but using exercises doing that. And it helps you also to, to speed up the blood circulation. And you will notice that after doing this, your hands become, your hands become soft and mellow. And it can help to do now some really warm, some activation of the muscle exercises at the piano. And you will see that your fingers do a much better job. And after the exercises, you will really feel now you're in good form to play. Do this when it's really cold. Your muscles are really cold when it's cold weather. Here in the Netherlands, we don't have such a harsh winters anymore nowadays. It was freezing last week, but now it's just again uh, 12 degrees and raining but when you're living in a cold climate this can be uh, very helpful to speed up your starting the piano every day so these are the three ways and as you see they will add up to each other so they don't replace each other the most important is the exercises and now i will share with you my five exercises that I do. The first one is Brahms number nine. But first, we, I do like this. I make nice legato. This You really feel it here. And then you can do this um, with the rotation. That's more difficult. First do it in that first way, like a broken chord. Uh, then we then have exercise number 19. The thumb stays here on the G, and same here, and with two hands. This time the thumb stays there. This really feels also a little bit in the hand, in the little muscles in the hand, and it will really help you to warm up fast. And then I have exercise number 21. I do this always first in like this. And later it will be just like The other exercises are also excellent. I not always play the same exercises, but these are really exercises that, because of the stretching, combination of fingers and stretchings, this really opens up these muscles and makes sure that you activate them maximum. If these are difficult for you, you can do no exercises, but then you do also the hands separated. And make sure you raise the fingers. You can do that in C uh, major, but I recommend you to use black keys. You can take any exercise of Hanon, by the way, for this. Another exercise number five, and that is an uh, octave exercise. I will show you two ways. The first way you can do just with one five. You add one, and add one, and now add one more. And you in 
increase every time the distance with one extra node until you reach two octaves. You can later do that with, uh, also with the four. With one four. You can do it later chromatically. Five on the white keys and the four on the black keys. And you could even do one three. By doing that, you stretch, but you should feel the stretching of these octaves always in the lower arm, not in the wrist, in the lower arm. The wrist must be free of tension. See? You can play with this. It will warm up fast, plus you will improve your octaves. So I hope you will benefit a little bit from these exercises. Try out and see what works best for you. You don't have to use the same exercises that I use, but you should focus on the muscles that you want to warm up. If you like this video, put that uh, like button. To let other people know that this is a good video. They watch it too and they will have benefit from it as well. Uh, if you didn't subscribe yet, then consider subscribing. Every week I put one or two videos out there about piano playing to help people like you to learn the piano better. By the way, if you like to really uh, improve your piano technique and really want, want to learn how to use your fingers and your arm, how this combination works, because there's always a combination uh, working together of arm and fingers, check the link in the description. You will find there a link to my book Super Fingers. You can check it out and I'll see you in the next video.